Welcome back to Big Brother and welcome to our winner, Brian. Done, I've done it. Do you, know, do you know what's lovely? He was just sat here going, this is the best day of my life, I love this show. And you... It's the best show on TV! I was so there to watch, no other. And you've won it. Tell me about it, how do I know that? I mean, seriously, I thought, can I come in I thought everyone would think, oh yeah, who's that Mackerel boy? And seriously, get him out with the blue context was great in it, oh yeah, it's not about that. Oh, I really, I've done this, I do not know, really, honestly, I don't know. I do. Ah. It's because you're lovely. Oh. <laughs> I'm just don't be, I'm just saying things I think I should be saying. You are though. not a yogurt top. <laughs> He's lovely. So listen, I know you've watched Big Brother a lot. I, I know love you Big are you, you are our number one fan, and now you're part of Big Brother history. That's but, but, so. but did you did you watch it thinking right? This is how I'm gonna I'm gonna play it, or did you have any no. idea when you went? Do you know why I watched <laughs> Big Brother? Because I like real stuff, and it's real. So I like it because real people can get into it. And you can choose who you like and you don't like. That's what I love about it. And so I didn't. I, to be honest, I came from experience, and I've had that, and to watch it back. And you've got hours to watch of this series, and you win it at the end. Oh, yeah! You like it, but uh, no. Now, Brian, do you really not know who Shakespeare is? It's the director who directs Romeo and Juliet, because Jerry's been telling me, because Jerry tells me stuff, yeah, and he's always talking museum, talk to me, I'm like, Jerry, I, I love Jerry, I love Bridget Bridget. Jerry's taking you to a museum, aren't you, Jerry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Let's talk about your big thing. My big thing? Oh, I mean Amanda. Oh, don't! You've seen my little pet on TV. Oh, I don't! Not that, that is Wait until you see your best bits. Something to behold. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at your beautiful, blossoming relationship. Brian what? Amanda. Oh, Brian don't! Amanda. Maybe Brian might be some well of us. Mind Having sex with someone like man would be like angels playing on harps and stuff and monkeys having grapes. Woo! She was totally floating by mistake. 100% I didn't wait eight weeks to do this with a team in my way. <laughs> Weird thing. Walking on there right now. Oh my god, I can't believe this happened. I love you, man. You're my best mate forever. This, oh, this is bad. Me and Matt now just carry on our friendship as we would a week ago before anything was said or poorly drunk. <laughs> just be friends and then see what happens with anything on the outside world, really. Now, with Brian Lander, right, you said this very sweet thing about Amanda. You said in the diary room, if you made love to her, angels would come down and harps would play. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. Oh, my, I am a mackerel. I'm so... Oh. I love you, but, man. But seriously, that isn't... But listen, <laughs> but listen, I just wanted to know, I mean, I know you didn't get that far, but what was it like to kiss her? It was puffer. She was a good kisser. But um, I can't believe I said that. Oh, don't. Oh, oh. oh my mate's going to me down the pub for that. I'll tell you what. And the, on, the other, on the other side of the coin, yeah. how was it for you when she said, look, let's just be mates? Well, I understood that, because man is my mate, and so at the end of the day, if she just wants to be mates, and I... I'm more than a white because I'm good mates with her and her so I understand that. So what do you think is going to happen now that you're out? It's up to Amanda, whatever. But whatever Amanda, Amanda told me earlier, can I say? Can I, can I say? No! Can I? Can I say? They're cringe. Is that, they're, they're, they're good. Amanda said she really likes you. But like, in a special way, in a special... That's to my... Listen, I know the answer to this one, but I just thought I'd ask you anyway, because I know you like the other one. Amanda or Bianca Gascoigne? Amanda. That was a tough one for him. Before he went in, it would have been Bianca, but now yeah. it's you. You've taken over for Bianca. It's very good. Um, okay, now listen. Was living in the house what you expected? Oh, I'll tell you what. There were so many good times, but at the same time, when I went down, I went to rock bottom a lot of times, and I just couldn't... There's all so many rare and You walk into one room, and it's the Amazons of the tribes, all bitching and snap snorting and whispering, going, Hee! and then looking at you and giving you screw faces. All the girls, I love screw these faces. girls. They don't give us screw faces. They will on just give me evils. I'm like, we... Yeah, like, evil. <laughs> oh, man, doing that. What's that about? Who is giving you evils?
Well, sometimes if if Charlie was really bit eggy aggro, she'd give me eagles. But I do love Charlie. She's southeast London, it girl. Woo <laughs> I know you stole my banana, shot, man. <laughs> I was living with Carol. Oh, do you know what? When I first got with Carol... Three of them, three of them, my order, they all want... Oh, okay, shut down, put down! Come on, tell us what you thought, tell us what you thought, maybe with Carol. Yeah, do you know what? When I first got in there, I was talking to her, okay, and then, when she told me that I couldn't eat because I wasn't a good swimmer, that's what I love Carol, though. Hello, Kaz. <laughs> but, she did, but she told me I couldn't eat and I got upset and we stood by and was just like bloody mouthy off. And as much as, as soon as the weeks and weeks got on, I started to love Carol so much. She looked after us so did. much. She did, honestly did. She was the big mother of the household, Kaz. You are right, Kaz? Kaz are. Right, Kaz. Alice, I just wanted to ask you, because I know you're into cosmic ordering. Yeah, did, no you, did you ask the universe <laughs> to win Big Brother? Not to win, but to go on a great adventure this summer. And I did. So, by cosmic ordering, no witness rocks. He rocks. Yeah. He rocks. Deal or no deal? Okay. Listen, what's the first thing you're going to do now you're out? Go and buy a bottle of cider. That's what I want. Yes. We're at Dan. Have a cider, question mark. It's brilliant. That's Think what I want what, what, like... was your, what was your favourite moment for you? My favourite moment um, would have to be my... Oh, the oh I love the caravan. Caravan of love. Oh, yeah. With the caravan. <laughs> what are you going to spend £100,000 on? Oh, don't. I've got to give it to my mum to look after it. I'll go down that side with it. I'll be like, yeah, that's up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give me a man. I'm Ryan, not going to We it. love you. We love you. Well done, mate. You're such a deserving winner. Hear your best bits. Thank you.